Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Wireless Technology. In this tutorial, we will discuss the frame structure in LTE. We will see what is a radio frame, the types of radio frames in LTE, and the difference between them. So let's start. In LTE, the downlink and uplink transmissions are organized into radio frames of 10 milliseconds duration. A radio frame is nothing but an arrangement of time slots within which a set of frequency resources or bandwidth is allocated for transmission in downlink and uplink direction. LTE supports three types of radio frame structures. Type 1 frame structure which is applicable to FDD only. Type 2 frame structure which is applicable to TDD only. And Type 3 frame structure which is used in LAA that is License Assisted Access Secondary Cell Operation only. Let's go through each type of frame structure in more detail. Type 1 frame structure is applicable to FDD that is frequency division duplex mode only. One radio frame is 10 milliseconds duration long. Each radio frame is divided into 10 subframes where each subframe has 1 millisecond long duration. The subframes are numbered from 0 to 9. Each subframe is further divided into two time slots where each time slot is 0.5 millisecond duration long. So total there are 20 time slots in a single radio frame. Now each slot is further divided into 7 OFDM symbols. These symbols are used to carry the data bits over the radio interface. As you can see here, each OFDM symbol is preceded by a small amount of period. This is a guard period, also known as cyclic prefix. Now the total number of OFDM symbols in each time slot depends on the type of cyclic prefix used. Now there are two types of cyclic prefixes used, normal cyclic prefix and extended cyclic prefix. When normal cyclic prefix is used, a time slot will have 7 OFDM symbols and when extended cyclic prefix is used, a time slot will have 6 OFDM symbols. Cyclic prefixes are used to give protection to the transmitted data against intersymbol interference and multipath delay spread so that the receiver can extract the complete signal without losing any data. Here is the summary of what we just discussed about type 1 radio frame. One radio frame is equal to 10 milliseconds long duration. Each radio frame is divided into 10 equally sized subframes numbered from 0 to 9. One subframe is equal to 1 millisecond long duration. Each subframe consists of two slots. One slot equal to 0.5 millisecond length. Each slot can be further divided into 7 OFDM symbols in case of normal cyclic prefix and 6 OFDM symbols in case of extended cyclic prefix. Cyclic prefix is a guard period added at the beginning of the OFDM symbol. It helps in protecting the symbol from intersymbol interference and multipath delay spread. The type 1 frame structure is applicable to both full duplex and half duplex FDD. In full duplex FDD mode, UV can transmit and receive at the same time, while in half duplex FDD mode, UV can either transmit or receive at a time. As you might know that in FDD mode, there are two different frequencies or carriers used, one for uplink and one for downlink transmission. And in each direction, 10 subframes are used for transmission, that is 10 subframes in uplink and 10 subframes in downlink. Both frequencies must be separated sufficiently to avoid any interference. Hence, FDD requires a paired spectrum to operate. So, for using type 1 frame structure, the uplink and downlink transmissions are separated in frequency domain. Now, let's discuss the next type of frame structure. Type 2 frame structure is used in TDD. One radio frame is 10 milliseconds duration long. This radio frame is divided into two half frames of 5 milliseconds each. Each half frame consists of 5 subframes numbered from 0 to 4. Each subframe has a 1 millisecond long duration. In FDD, we saw that in a radio frame, all 10 subframes can either be used in downlink or uplink direction. Now, in case of TDD, some subframes are used in downlink transmission while some are used in uplink transmission. This depends on the uplink downlink configuration table which is defined in 3GPP specs. Type 2 radio frame also contains a special subframe as seen here. 
The special subframe fields include DWPTS that is downlink pilot time slot, guard period and UPPTS that is uplink pilot time slot. Let's see the table of the uplink downlink configuration for the TDD radio frame. So there are seven different combinations defined. As you can see here, in all the configurations, some subframes are assigned for downlink transmission, some are assigned for uplink transmission, while the rest of them are special subframes. D indicates a subframe reserved for downlink transmission, U indicates a subframe reserved for uplink transmission, and S indicates a special subframe. The special subframe has three fields, DWPTS, guard period, and UPPTS. We saw this in the frame structure diagram. The total length of these three fields combined is equal to 1 millisecond. Special subframes are used while switching from downlink to uplink transmission. As you can see, a special subframe appears only when there is a transition from downlink to uplink transmission. This column shows the downlink to uplink switch point periodicity, which is 5 milliseconds or 10 milliseconds. The switch point periodicity is 10 milliseconds in those configurations where there is only one special subframe which is seen in configuration 3, 4 and 5. When the switch point periodicity is 5 milliseconds, the special subframe appears in both the half frames, that is subframe 1 and subframe 6. Mm -hmm. When the switch point periodicity is 10 milliseconds, the special subframe appears in the first half frame only, that is in subframe 1. The guard period between the DWPTS and UPPTS is reserved for downlink to uplink transition. Few more points to note from the configuration table. Subframe number 0 and number 5 are always downlink subframe. The uplink downlink configuration is selected based on the amount of data to be transferred. When data volume to be transmitted in downlink is high, the configuration with more downlink subframes is selected. So here's a summary of what we just discussed in type 2 frame structure. One radio frame is 10 milliseconds long. Each radio frame has two half frames of 5 milliseconds each. Each half frame has five subframes of 1 milliseconds each. The subframes can either be downlink, uplink or special subframe. Now the TDD frame structure is preferred to provide high spectral efficiency. This is because TDD can be used in unpaired spectrum and it does not require two different frequencies for transmission in uplink and downlink. TDD can use only one frequency since the transmission is separated in time domain, which saves a lot of bandwidth. Mm -hmm. Type 3 frame structure was introduced in later releases of LTE. It is applicable to LAA secondary cell operation with normal cyclic prefix only. LAA or license assisted access is a feature that allows LTE signal to be transmitted in unlicensed spectrum. Each radio frame is 10 milliseconds long and consists of 20 slots of length 0.5 millisecond, numbered from 0 to 19. The 10 subframes within a radio frame are available for downlink or uplink transmissions, where a downlink transmission may occupy one or more consecutive subframes. So with this we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you understood the frame structure in LT and its different types. Thanks for watching.